Did you know David Attenborough still lives in the same home where he once discovered a human skull buried in the backyard? He loves his property so much, even if it is a little bit haunted. David Attenborough has established himself as a household name through his captivating nature documentaries, which he narrates, such as Blue Planet and Life on Earth. The 98-year-old explorer's iconic voice resonates with audiences of all ages, and he continues to live in London. Despite his fame, Attenborough leads a humble life in his Richmond home, which he has described as his favorite place on Earth. Over the years, several photos of his home have been shared with the public. He moved to Richmond back in 1951, drawn by the neighborhood's open spaces. His Edwardian home has occasionally been featured in news reports too. One notable report in 2011 revealed the discovery of a skull in his garden, which turned out to belong to Julia Martha Thomas, a woman murdered by her housekeeper in 1879. Before we look at his longtime home, let's check out the beautiful and grand property that David Attenborough grew up in as a child. In 2022, part of this home, where David and his late brother, actor Richard Attenborough, grew up was listed on the market, and it has quite the history. Hayden Hall House, located in Bushy, Hertfordshire, was listed at over 1.1 million US dollars the last time it was on the market. It was acquired by the Attenborough family in the 1870s, and it's believed that the iconic brothers lived there during the 1920s and 1930s but the exact duration of their stay remains unclear. The Grade 2 listed property was commissioned in the 1830s by author and artist Thomas Fonero, who, inspired by his time in Italy, requested the home was built in the style of a Tuscan villa. The architect, Decimus Burton, one of the most celebrated figures of the 19th century, designed it. Burton's known for creating landmarks like Wellington Arch, the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew, and much of Hyde Park, like the gate and the screen at Hyde Park Corner. Construction of Hayden Hill House began in 1841 and the Attenborough family purchased Hayden Hill House in the 1870s. Post-World War II, Harrow Council converted the house into a retirement home. In the late 1980s, it was sold and transformed into a series of luxury apartments. This particular three-bedroom, three-bathroom property stands 2,187 square feet over three floors and features its own entrance hall on the ground level. There are also high ceilings and sash windows throughout, making the home feel very grand. On the first floor, there's a large sitting room with dual views of the gardens, as well as an original marble fireplace and chandelier. Additionally, there's a kitchen, breakfast room, a coat room, and a master bedroom with an ensuite and mezzanine. A further flight of stairs leads to two guest bedrooms and a third bathroom. The property sets on about 3.5 acres of shared land, which includes a walled garden. You may even spot horses and other animals grazing on the council-owned land beyond. This land is named Attenborough Fields in honor of its former residents. London commuters will also appreciate the mansion's location with easy access to the M1 and M25 motorways and less than a mile from Bushy Station. David Attenborough at age 98 still lives in the same home he's lived in for years. When he's not filming, Sir David resides in Richmond, England, an affluent residential district bordering the River Thames. In 2013, he declared Richmond his favorite place by a long way, despite having visited every corner of the globe. He cited the gorgeous climate and the multitude of museums as key reasons why he loves it so much. In 2020, Richmond actually topped rankings of London's happiest places to live. The town center offers a variety of shops, like high street chains and independent stores, along with numerous pubs, bars, and restaurants, some boasting beautiful views of the river. Nearby Kew Gardens attracts visitors from around the world, boasting over 50,000 different plants in its living collections. It was recently named home to the largest living plant collection on Earth. Richmond's popularity is also due to its mix of shopping opportunities and parks. Richmond Park, the largest of London's royal parks, holds national and international importance for its wildlife conservation. Attenborough made Richmond his home way back in 1951 after falling in love with the neighborhood's open spaces. David keeps his home life quite private, but he's still offered glimpses inside over the years. 
In 2005, David posed for a photo in his living room, which is decorated with lilac carpets and white walls. The furniture included a set of brown leather sofas, a white bookshelf, a dark oak dresser, and other ornaments. Naturally, two wildlife photos were displayed on the walls. An older photo from the same angle shows a dark oak wooden coffee table in the middle of the seating arrangement. The room's windows are cathedral shaped and open like shutters, lined with floor length brown curtains. A different view of the room revealed David's collection of DVDs, CDs, and more, while there's also a painting of a mountain landscape hanging on the wall. David's hallway features wood paneled walls and built in shelving units with glass shelves, where he displays other decorations. As expected, David does his best to attract and care for the local wildlife, including feeding birds with a silver metallic bird feeder set up on a tree. The exterior of his house is painted a vibrant lilac with white window frames and a gray tiled roof. While the garden and residence looks peaceful, David's Edwardian home has been featured in several news reports over the years. It may even be haunted. In 2011, there was a report that highlighted a skull found in his garden, which was later identified as belonging to Julia Martha Thomas, a woman murdered by her housekeeper in 1879. In 2010, while David Attenborough was having an extension built in his Southwest London garden, workers discovered a skull that had clearly been buried for a long time. Carbon dating indicated that the skull belonged to someone who lived between 1650 and 1880. The skull, appearing to be that of a white female around menopausal age and missing teeth, was found lying on top of Victorian era tiles. Despite the few clues, the investigation team identified the skull's owner through census and trial records, a victim who met her end on March 2nd, 1879. Julia Martha Thomas lived alone in Richmond, Southwest London, following the death of her second husband in 1873. She hired Kate Webster as her servant, who had a troubled past, including several students in prison for theft and robbery. The relationship between the two soured fast, and Thomas often tried to make her friends stay with her to avoid being alone with Webster. Eventually, Thomas decided that Webster should leave and arranged for her last day to be February 28, 1879. Webster persuaded her to allow her to stay a few days longer, during which she committed the crime, pushing Thomas down the stairs, strangling her, dismembering her body, and boiling it. Webster even distributed the rendered fat to local children as food, or so they say. Talk about horrifying. Although Webster was tried and executed for a crime, the skull remained undiscovered until David's workmen started working on his extension. Today, Attenborough's garden is full of bird feeders that attract local wildlife, showing his passion for conservation. He reportedly also purchased the pub next door to his home in 2001 for one million pounds. He was concerned that a block of flats might replace it. David Attenborough, renowned for his captivating nature documentaries, has lived a life as interesting as the wildlife he showcases. From his childhood home steeped in history to his beloved Richmond abode where he even found a skull, David has cherished his properties. Would you be able to stay in a home where you found a skull tied to a gruesome tragedy? Let me know down in the comments. That'll wrap up today's tour. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye.